God. Praise we God. truly welcome you and hoping that you're having a wonderful and glorious day mm -hmm. and that the Lord is blessing mm -hmm. mightily on your behalf and blessing Amen. your family mm -hmm. and blessing your home, your business, your ministry, mm -hmm. all those things that you have before the Lord. Yeah. And so today, amen, we're going to talk about keep believing. Amen. No matter what. what? Amen. <laughs> Thank God my daughter, Dr. Saranox, is with me on today. Amen. Amen. So agape, mm -hmm. amen, love you, and we're... Uh, Thank God for those that came mm -hmm. on Sunday and um, just want to give you a little praise report later on. But let's go mm -hmm. to the Lord, um, the throne of grace in prayer. And then we're going to get started and talking about our topic and bring you up to date on some of the things that the Lord is doing mm -hmm. uh, and has done. Right. Because remember, God is good and he's good when? All the time. All the time. And he certainly <laughs> has proved that. So almighty and eternal God, how we come before you. Yes, Father. We come before you with praise and with thanksgiving. We magnify your righteous and holy name yes, for who is a God like unto thee. Yes, Lord, you're clothed with glory and majesty, dominion and power and yes, might. Yes, and as we come before your presence with thanksgiving, Lord, we do enter into your courts with praise, recognizing that you are God. Um, and it's in you, Lord, we live and we move and we have our being. Yes, Father. And so, Lord God, I lift up your precious people. Thank you. And I ask that you bless every husband, wife, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, mm -hmm. grandmas and grandpas and aunties and uncles, nephews and nieces and cousins, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. and the saints of God mm -hmm. all together. Look on our families, Lord. Cause yes, strength to come, yes. cause peace to come, yes. cause healing to come, yes. blessings to come, protection to come. Mm -hmm. Lord, let your glory be revealed, and we thank you for your loving kindness. Now, Lord God, we ask right now, thank you, Father. think through our thoughts, speak through our lips of clay. Yes. Let it be all of you and none of us, Lord God. Yes, Father. We pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Lord, that your anointing will rest, rule, and abide here. Yes. And let, our Lord, the ears of your people hear and their heart receive. Let yes, it land Father. on good ground, yes, this word. And, Lord, let it be uh, concerning waiting on you, being willing to trust you, Yes, Believing, continue to believe, no matter what. No matter what. We thank you for it, Lord. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name. Jesus Get your glory out of our life. Yes, Father God. Amen. 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 So, we're going to talk about, and I want you to turn quickly to the book of Isaiah 46 All right. and 10, and then we're going to go to Jeremiah. Mm. Because one thing about it, God wants okay. us to truly mm. trust him and believe his word. Mm -hmm. I want to set this up. Right. And so I welcome our Agape Love family, Agape Love Ministries, Agape Love students, alumni, saints and friends. Mm -hmm. uh, be blessed. And the Lord showed out on Saturday yes, he for did. a youth event. Amen. <laughs> uh, we were blessed to give away 35 book, uh, book bags to the children. Amen. Had Amen. just enough enough. Amen. Prayed with everybody that thank came God. and God was glorified. Amen. So I just wanted to give a little praise report. We thank God for our supporters. Um, they will be receiving a gift card. Amen. For their donations mm -hmm. and just support of this event. Next year is going to be bigger and better Amen. and even more blessed. But we thank God for what he did for us and with us and through us on Saturday. Amen. All right. So let's go into Jeremiah. I mean, Isaiah first, 46. And uh, Sarah, can you start reading the ninth verse and read to the 14th verse? Okay. Ninth verse reads, remember the former things of old. I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executed the, my counsel from a far country. Yea, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have pursued it. I will also do it. Hearken unto me, ye stout-hearted that are afar from righteousness. I will bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel's my glory. So let's set this up with our, our topic and our theme dealing, keep believing no matter what. Israel, again, uh, was in, taken into captivity because of idolatry, mm -hmm. because of the sins of the fathers. Mm -hmm. And 
And so the judgment was made mm -hmm. concerning that. Mm -hmm. And of course they, you know, they were expelled to um, Babylon. But yet God mm -hmm. gives a promise. Mm -hmm. And remember what he says here. He reminds them mm -hmm. the former things are past for I am God. Mm -hmm. And so no matter what you're experiencing, do you hear what I said? No mm -hmm. matter what, keep believing, no keep what, believing. no matter what, no matter what, he's reminding them mm -hmm. that he is yet Jehovah God. He Amen. is El Elyon. Yes. And he says, I am God. There is no, no one like me declaring the end from the beginning. Yeah. And so God sees he starts us, mm -hmm. amen, he starts ministries, he starts churches, he starts a nation, and he knows the future, he knows the providence, mm -hmm. he knows his sovereign judgment mm -hmm. that's going to befall every nation, even before the nation begins. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Even before it begins. Before it begins. He knows the end from the, from the beginning. And this is what he says, declaring the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. From ancient times, things which have not yet been done. And so even though uh, the 70 years have not yet came, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me, mm -hmm. yet he is saying, I'm going to establish mm -hmm. 70 years. And remember, seven is God's perfect number. Perfect number. Seven, 10, 70 years. Amen. 10 is completion. And so we know he, and he reminds Israel that I'm going to call a ravenous bird, symbolic of Cyrus. Amen. And he said, I'm going to bring the past through Cyrus. Amen. The king of Persia. What I'm going to do concerning the future. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of yeah. the nation. Yeah. Of, and of the Jews. And so God many times, whether we realize it or not, he mm -hmm. begins something. Remember what the word of God said. He which begun a good work. Philippians mm -hmm. 1 and 6. Mm -hmm. In you is what? Faithful, Faithful to, to complete, complete it. it. And so God <laughs> knows the end from the beginning. Amen. So if you're young in ministry, mm -hmm. and even I want to uh, encourage pastors, uh, even if what he said has not yet taken mm -hmm. place, keep believing, keep believing no matter what. what? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Come on and say it with me. Keep believing. Keep believing. No matter what. No matter and what. And so if you're listening, amen, mm -hmm. to this message, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of things that happen between uh, one point mm -hmm. to the other point. Amen. Now, he also says something in, uh, in that 11 verse. He said, truly I've spoken, truly I will bring it to pass. I have planned it, surely I will do it. So, Sarah, what do you think when God says, surely I will do it? Because that's a strong word. He said, truly I have spoken. Truly I will bring it to pass. I have planned it. Surely I will do it. It's like he's giving a commandment. I mean, it's like he's giving a confirmation, affirmation with a stamp of approval on it. His, when, when God uses words like, to me, those are words like adverse or adjective saying he's put more effect to what he already said. <laughs> okay, surely, surely and truly. And Jesus used to use that truly, truly, surely, or surely, 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 surely in some mm -hmm. uh, translations. Yes. So he said, I planned it. Mm -hmm. And I sure. So yes. if God has planned something mm -hmm. in your life, in your ministry, you in your home, it. Take it to in your bank. business, you could take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because God will watch over his, his word. word to perform it. To perform it. Amen. Amen. So then he re he rebukes them gently and says, "Listen to me, you stubborn minded, mm -hmm. who are far from righteous." And remember, because remember, when we operate in faith, we become the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. So obviously, the Jews were still doubting mm -hmm. God's ability to bring them home. Mm -hmm. And he said, "You're far from righteousness." Yes. But he said, "But I'm going to bring near my righteousness. Yes. Uh, it's not a far off, mm -hmm. and my salvation will not delay." Mm -hmm. I will grant salvation in Zion and my glory for Israel. In other words, he said, there is a set time. Everybody say set time. A set time. There's a set time. There's a Moab of God, an appointed time of God, that he's going to perform his good work. The old folks say, he may not come when you want him. But he's right on time. He's right on time. <laughs> so he said, my salvation will not delay. And we know that uh, in, in Galatians, in the fourth chapter, said, in the fullness of time, God mm -hmm. sent forth his son, mm -hmm. amen, formed of a woman. Mm -hmm. And so when it was God's time to send his son, Jesus Christ, just as the mm -hmm. word of God said, mm -hmm. oh, that little mm -hmm. song, oh, little town of Bethlehem, mm -hmm. amen, our Christmas mm -hmm. hymns remind us of God's providential nature, yes. his sovereignty, yes. and his perfect will. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go to Jeremiah 29 and 11. All right. Jeremiah 29, I hope you all, you all have your 
yellow markers and you're studying with us tonight right. because it's sooner than you think, Amen. So Amen. keep believing no matter what. <laughs> Amen. So I want you to start at the 11th verse, Sarah, and read to the 14th verse. 29 and 11. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah and read 29, to the, 11 through read, 14. Read to the um, 14 verse. Uh-huh. 29 11. Okay. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. I love this scripture. <laughs> mm -hmm. Say the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. In other words, you can bank on it. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Then shall you call unto me or upon me. And ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all, all your heart. All your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will return, I will turn away your captivity. He'll turn it away. And from all places, I mean, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Amen. And what translation are you reading? This is King James. Um Okay, more Sorello King James. Mm -hmm. It's a little different from what I'm going to read, but basically it's saying the same thing. I'm sorry, mine is called, known as the Authorized King James. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So this, this is a little bit different. And this is a Ryrie. So it, it may read a little bit different in your book. Uh, for he said, for I know the thoughts. But this one says, for I know the plans. Mm -hmm. Well, God, the thoughts are the plans of God. Mm -hmm. God thinks them. He mm -hmm. plans them. As a man think of it, his heart so is he. God has thoughts concerning you. Amen. We know in Isaiah 55, he says, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, said the Lord. Uh -huh. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Uh -huh. So God has plans that are much higher uh -huh. than we can anticipate. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God's plans for us are big. Amen. Yeah. Truly. And you know what? It takes God to bring them to pass. Yeah. Anything that you can think of and do yourself, amen, it may be a good thing, but it's not necessarily a God good. thing. Uh -huh. So he said, for I know the plans or thoughts I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare or for good mm -hmm. and not for calamity to give you a future and a hope. Mm -hmm. And yours said an expected end. Expected so end. your expectation, everybody say expectation. Expectation. So I expect God to do the great things that God has already in his thoughts have already, and whatever God thinks, mm -hmm. if he wants you to know what his will is, mm -hmm. his thoughts become his word. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, then you'll call upon me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So giving you a future and a hope. Yes. You will call upon me. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you know what God's plans are. Amen. You have an inkling. You may not know how God's going to all bring it to pass. Amen. But I remember when he told me to start Agape, I had no clue. Mm -hmm. I just walked by faith. By faith. And we got a little raggedy building. Amen. It was. It needed everything. Right. Next to Rehoboth Church of God Ooh, in Christ. It wasn't Rehoboth, but there's that. Y'all remember that little building? Despise not the beginning. The beginning. Yeah, despise not the. That's right. Despise not the beginning of those small, small things. things. Small but things. I had wanted a real church, and it was, but it was just old and dilapidated. Yeah. But. Amen. We had good anointed services up in there. But we had very good <laughs> services right there on 29th and Hanley and Locust. Amen. 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 And so, but I, 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 I really believe that God called me, Amen. and I trusted Amen. that He would work out everything in His time. Yes. Um, and God does makes all things beautiful. Amen. In, in His time. time. So look what He says here. Um, then you will call upon me and come to pray to me. So that's the next step. When you know God's world mm -hmm. uh, and you know and you, he tells you what his plans are, mm -hmm. then you pray to him yes. because it's this uh, interchange. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this intimate relationship that God desires to have with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Many times, uh, and remember, remember Jesus said, uh, pray Mm -hmm. And keep on praying. Watch as well as pray. Yes. Man should always pray. And you know why? So, and, and not faith. So mm -hmm. that you can stay mm -hmm. in divine connection yes. and communication mm -hmm. with your God. Mm -hmm. And so he said, you'll come and pray to me. And I will hear you or mm -hmm. I will listen. If my people yes. who are called by my name uh -huh. shall humble themselves and pray. Mm -hmm. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. What did he say? He would hear, he from, from, hear from heaven. He would forgive his sins. sins. He will heal, heal the, the land. land. Yes. Yes. He said, I'll be found by you, declares the Lord, mm -hmm. and I will restore your fortunes. Ooh, I will Lordy. bring the blessings. Now, your version read a little bit different. Yeah. But he says here uh, in, in this translation, he said, I will restore your fortunes. In other words, prosperity. God will send 
prosperity. Uh -huh. God will send the blessing. God will send the increase. He said, uh, amen. He said uh, that he will do this. And he said, and I will gather you. Yes. And did he not do that for Israel? Yes, he did. Are they not yet? Uh, are they not an established nation? A nation was indeed born in a day. In a day. May 14, 1940, yes. uh, 1948. Nine. No, 1948. 48, yes. Amen. And gather you from all the nations, from all the places where and that and with the dispersal. Amen. amen. When the Jews were dispersed, they went all over to the four corners oh, of the world. May 14. Yeah, May 14. May Sometimes 14. it reads 14, 15 because yeah. I think they were looking at, you know, the, when they put it to when they laid it down in the documentation right. and they actually had mm -hmm. the uh, declaration right. that a nation, the state of Israel, was born. Mm -hmm. And so he said, declares mm -hmm. the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place. Yeah. Where you, where I sent you mm -hmm. unto exile, or where you was in captivity. Now remember, he said in Isaiah forty-three, "I'll save you know to the north, bring back my daughters to the south and east and west." So he says, "Bring, I'm going to bring you back to the four corners yes. of the earth." So what did I? Why was I setting this up on this wise? All right. In terms of context, mm -hmm. because. They had to believe God no matter what. Mm -hmm. Keep believing no matter what. Even if it's 70 days before you see the manifestation. If years pass, if 70 days, 70 weeks, 70 years, whatever, believe God. Because sometimes you're going to have to wait. What you say, Sarah? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait Amen. For it. <laughs> Let's go over to the New Testament right. now. Let's go to Mark 4. Amen. Although, I mean, Mark, the 13th chapter. Right. And so uh, our nation right now and the nations of the world are waiting to hear what God is about to do. Mark 13 gives us an insight of the hour that we're living in. I'm going to try to get through this real fast because uh, I don't want to take too much time because it takes a little while to download. But Mark 13, mm -hmm. can you read uh, starting at the first verse? All right. As he went out of the temple, one of his disciples said unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not troubled. Yes. For such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. So, okay, so again, keep believing no matter what, because you're going to see the manifestations of all these warning signs that the end is not yet, but it's on the way. So keep believing no matter what, no matter what you see, because we are now in the end of yes. the end days or end times. Yes. Read that 10th verse and go down to the 14th verse. All right. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye for it is not ye that speak but the holy ghost amen now the brother shall betray the brother to death and the father the son and children shall raise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death and you're seeing that uh you're seeing where we're starting to see uh family members kill other family members but keep believing no matter what no matter what you're seeing because there is so much tragedy and so much going on in my this Lord, world that uh, don't get distracted. My, don't my, get my. caught up. I know it's painful. Keep believing no matter what that the Lord is going to come back for his church. Amen. Amen. So keep believing. You're going to see all of these things that Jesus said. These are but warning signs. And woes. And, and woes. Amen. Mm. And we're living in them right now. Yes, Lord. Drop down to the um, 19th verse. All right. 19 mm -hmm. reads. Mm. For in those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which God created until this time, neither shall be. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, 
no flesh should be saved. My Lord. But for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. And don't it look like the days are getting shorter, y'all? Yeah, You know, Definitely. we're already at, almost at the end of July. Mm -hmm. It seemed like the summer just began. Just started. Amen. And days seem to be shortened. Every time you turn around, before you know it, it's Monday. Mm -hmm. You start Monday, and oh, then before you know it. Now, we're, we're at Tuesday, but I tell you, tomorrow is Wednesday. And, and the days seem like they're getting shorter, shorter and shorter. And shorter. He yeah. said, for the elect's sake. Well, who are the elect? The chosen. I talked about that Sunday. Yeah. When God changes your name. Yeah. Amen. If you didn't see that you need to you know rewind mm -hmm. that we had some technical difficulties so we right, had right. so we we uh taped it a little bit late mm -hmm. but make sure you watch sunday's broadcast or yes, video yes. on when god changes your name but we are the elect of god yeah and he said unless uh but for the sake of the elect whom he chose he has shortened the days mm -hmm. keep on reading amen and then if any man shall say to you lo here is christ uh -huh. or lo here is he is there Believe him not. For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Again, he talks about the elect. Mm -hmm. That's talking about God's people. Yeah. Amen. If it was possible, if it was possible. they would, he could, this, this spirit of deception is going to be so great mm -hmm. and so uh, prevailing. Yes. In the in the world. Amen. That if it's possible, because the social media, the networks, uh, uh, different uh, forms and plateaus are going to be pushing the mm -hmm. global, the, the one world one government world, yeah. uh, philosophy and movement. Order. The church should be gone by one then. World but order. just in case we're not, keep yeah. believing Amen. no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Read that 23rd verse. Amen. But take ye heed. Behold, I have foretold you all things. He told him in advance, foretold me, said, tell in advance. Mm -hmm. And prophecy is knowledge in advance, what God yes. is about to do. Yes. Amen. Prophecy many times gives us an advanced knowledge mm -hmm. of what is to come. Yes. Keep on. Amen. 24. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Amen. So look what he's going to do. He's coming back. He's going to deal with the world. He's going to judge the world, uh, especially those who rejected Christ. Look, he said, we're going to see the Son of Man. And we are now in the techno technological yes. age yes. where it is possible for years the mm -hmm. saints that would read this right. couldn't understand how can every... I mm -hmm. see him. Right. But with satellite technology, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with uh with CNN and CNN, all, all the, the major networks, Twitter and platforms, yes, on social media. We can all everybody. See him. And we can see him coming in you what can see him real, on your watch, you can right, see him in, on your phone, right, your iPad, everywhere, your computer, computer your TV, everything in, in real time. And, and, and even on some cars. Some cars have TV screens made in them. Right. So you don't even have to be at home. Vans, whatever. And you Amen. can see them. Amen. <laughs> so Teletrons. Amen. Teletrons. And look at this. The stars will be falling. <laughs> so there's going to be a great shaking in the heaven. Yeah. Now, when we talk about shaking, we're talking about meteorites mm -hmm. and uh I mean, these are missiles from comets, heaven. comets, and and yes. so when we start seeing uh, the signs of the, in yeah. the heaven and yeah. in the earth, yes. know yes. Yes. that this has all been predicted. All been predicted. Advanced knowledge. That's what mm -hmm. prophecy mm -hmm. gives as well. Yes. This edification, exhortation, and yes. comfort. Mm -hmm. Look what it said: the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory, mm -hmm. and then He will send forth what, Sarah? That like twenty-seven mm -hmm. verse. Amen. And then he shall send forth his angels yes. and shall gather together his elect from the four winds from the uttermost parts of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Amen. amen. And so when we see this. North, him, south, east, and west. Amen. These are the millennial saints. Yes. Amen. The tribulation saints. So these are the saints that die because the church is already raptured. Right. Because Joel told us that the Lord's going to come back with 10,000 10, and 10,000 of his saints. Yes. So we're already caught up to meet him in the air. Amen. But these are those who gave their life. Yes. Amen. They were Hallelujah. martyred and God's going to gather them as well. Yes. So we thank God. So read down to the thirty. Um, okay, so 
Yeah, I tell you. Oh, just keep on reading. Yes, to, we start the 29th verse there, too. Oh, 29. So skip 28 and go to the 29? 29, yes. Okay, because we pass over the fig tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, even at the doors. And if you can't tell it, you... So wrong with you. <laughs> Everybody can tell this is the uh -huh. last of the last. Yes. I mean, it's even at the doors. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Even, just not even the Son, not even Jesus knows when he's coming Father. back. <laughs> that fig tree, the 28th verse, represents mm. Israel. Yeah. Amen. Uh, so when you see the parable of the fig tree, mm -hmm. amen, when its branches have become tender, yeah. amen, know that it's close. You know the time, the summer is near. Well, yes. the coming of the Lord. We see these warning signs. Yes. Amen. So mm -hmm. things have been, uh, you know, it's speeding almost up. as a speeding up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Acceleration. Acceleration. Amen. There's acceleration. There's, there's yeah. things that's happening right now. My but God. he said the heaven and earth will pass away, but not my word. My words will not pass. In other words, God's words are not going to fall, y'all. Hallelujah. What God says he Hallelujah. is able to do and perform. perform. Yes, so get Lord. your kid folks saved. Get yes, Uncle Johnny Lord. saved. Get Hallelujah. them relatives saved. Yes, get, get that sister gal saved mm -hmm. that you've been praying for. Mm -hmm. Get that young man. Get that yes. niece saved. Yes, get, uh, get them in. Amen. Amen. They may be strong. Struggling, but I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. Amen. And what Peter says about that. Yeah. Because read that 33rd Ooh. verse again. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a fire journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, and to every man he his word, and commanded the pro the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. Amen. So you don't know. Don't but he know. said, take heed, keep on keep on the alert. Stay sober, man. Stay sober. Stay watch. Jesus said, watch as, as well, well as, as pray. pray. What I say unto one? I say unto all. Watch, watch as, as well as, as pray. pray. So take heed, keep on, keep the alert, for you do not, you do not know when the appointed time, time. will come. come. And he is as a journey. Yes. He is at the right hand of the of the father. Yes. But you don't know when that when when daddy, our father, yes. our father tells our elder brother Jesus, go get Ooh. your people. Go get your bride. Hallelujah. You know, go get your bride. Go get your bride. Is, I'm seeing something in here. On the 36th verse, I know you told me to stop at 35, but 36. Can I just make a mention of yes, that? Yes, go ahead. It go says, ahead, less coming suddenly he find you sleeping. That term sleeping has many connotations. That's right. One of them in Proverbs says, the one that loves to sleep. He loves poverty. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you don't like no poverty. Don't be loving to sleep. Uh -huh. Get be and, diligent. And this is talking about being diligent. Uh, as far as watching for the Lord, there's a there's a reward just for watching. That's right. Watching, staying up, watching for the for Lord. Watching. Hallelujah. And Amen. remember, he warned. Remember, he Hallelujah. warned in, in Matthew 25. Mm -hmm. well, who did he warn? He warned mm -hmm. those the the brides. Yes. I mean the, the 25 the virgins. Yeah. Tw five, five, five were wives or not the 25 virgins. Yeah, five Matthew were wives 25. And five were ten virgins. Right. Yeah. And it, referring to the 25th mm -hmm. chapter of Matthew. Yeah. And he said that remember. Uh, when he knocked at the door, mm, uh, you know, he opened up. Yeah. Amen. They, there's some that they didn't weren't already. They, they weren't, weren't already. They didn't keep their, their last trimmed, trimmed and burned. burned. They didn't take the oil with yeah, them. Come on. Stay oh, sober. Yeah, hey, Stay that. watchful. Stop. Well, let's Hallelujah. go to 1 Corinthians, Jesus. the fourth chapter. First Corinthians um, four. And we're going to go a little bit deeper into this teaching on tonight. And I pray that you are, are, you are listening yes, and Lord. you are learning because mm -hmm. saints, this is real now. We live yes, in Lord. real time. Yes, Lord. Amen. You know, uh, years ago, it was like, it's, you know, mm -hmm. well, this is going to happen in the next 100 years. They say, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they didn't know in the 18th century when Israel was going to be born. Mm -hmm. They didn't know even, uh, but you know what? Something happened after World War II. Yes. And, and then even 1917. Yeah. So we see that if you do your historical research, you'll find that. Captain Albavi, General Albavi, mm -hmm. went, amen, all right, all and right. he started, he was the seed, mm -hmm. God used him to plant the seed mm -hmm. for the, uh, the, the, the Jews to come back, yes. and he was Thank dealing Jesus. with England, mm -hmm. but I ain't going to go into all of that, but you study it for, on your own. So Thank First you, Corinthians 4, all right. uh, I want you to start at the first verse. Amen. 4 and 1, let 
a man so account of us as of ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Mm -hmm. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Faithful. A faithful man shall abound with, with blessings. blessings. Proverbs yes. 28 and 20. Yes. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you or of man's judgment. Yea, I judge not mine own self. For I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified, but he that judgeth me is the Lord. Therefore judge nothing before the time. Judge nothing before the time. Until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make him and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of God. Amen. So Paul was going through Amen. A lot of there was a lot of judgment on the apostle Paul. The apostle Paul had uh, was doing such a great work, and there were many of the Jews that came against him and judged him, mm -hmm. even some of the fellow Christians. But he said, "Judge nothing before the time. Mm -hmm. Just keep believing, no matter what." Yes, you no may get what. judged because people don't understand mm -hmm. why you're preaching so mm -hmm. boldly the coming, the mm -hmm. second coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want to hear mm -hmm. about abortion. They don't want to hear mm -hmm. about transgender. They don't want to hear uh, about society's ills or woes or mm -hmm. sins, the decadence of the time that mm -hmm. we're living in. Mm -hmm. They're not trying to hear it because they ain't trying to change nothing. Mm -hmm. But we have been given, we are stewards of the mysteries of Christ. Yes. Look what it said. We are, let no man uh, so account of us as of the ministers of Christ yes. and stewards of the ministries mm -hmm. of Christ. So yes. men will, whether they de uh, decide to judge you mm -hmm. or whatever, remember that our judgment comes from Christ alone. Comes from Christ. Christ so don't get, Amen. so no matter what, mm -hmm. keep believing. Keep Amen. No matter believing. what. Keep on believing. <laughs> Keep hearing that song. Yeah. Keep on Keep believing. on believing. That's Amen. right. Amen. <laughs> because right. Paul said they were fools for Christ. Read that 10 verse. Amen. 10, read read, nine, read nine, 9 and 10. 9 and 10. For I think that I think that God has set for us the apostles, the, the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Who, I mean, we are fools for Christ's sake. But ye are wise in Christ. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. In other words, Paul said, we're going through all of this because of y'all, but y'all got it going on. Mm -hmm. But we're going through hunger, mm -hmm. thirsty, mm -hmm. naked, mm -hmm. buffeted, and have no certain dwelling place. So they were persecuted. They were going, uh, going through a lot. Mm -hmm. But as I was saying earlier, no matter what you're going through, give many other afflictions of the righteous, the but Lord God will deliver the, us from them all. And if you suffer with Christ, mm -hmm. you're going to reign with him. So no matter what, keep believing. Is mm -hmm. that right? Amen. Somebody say, no matter what, no matter what, keep believing, keep believing. So read 16 all the way to the 21st verse. And then wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me. Yes. For thus, for this cause have I sent unto you, Timotheus, who is my beloved son and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways, which be in Christ. As I teach everywhere in every church. In every church. Paul said, Timothy, go and, and give them the doctrine. Mm -hmm. Teach them my ways. Teach them. See, mm -hmm. one people, sometimes people look at the way you teach your precept, but what about your character? Mm -hmm. The right, Apostle right. Paul wanted Timothy mm -hmm. because he was his son in the gospel. So he, Paul multiplies himself in the lives of Timothy and Titus and mm -hmm. his other uh, fellow sons in the gospel. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Uh, many times when uh, people are judging us, mm -hmm. sometimes they don't remember that there was somebody else that was in, mm -hmm. in front of us. Mm -hmm. We stand on the shoulders. I look at my mother and many, mm -hmm. many other saints that encourage mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. to do the work. Yeah. Amen. That some Amen. of many of those mothers, uh, godly women of God, they went on to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. But I remember their words. So mm -hmm. Paul is reminding Timothy, go and bring them mm -hmm. what I taught you. Mm -hmm. He said, as I teach everywhere in every church. In every church. Keep on going. Amen. But I will come to you shortly, if the Lord will, and will, and that kind of sounds like if the Lord be willing. <laughs> yes, yes. And will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. What will ye? Shall I come unto you with a rod or in love, and in the spirit of meekness? 
Amen. So Paul had to give a gentle correction mm -hmm. and rebuke. And I think right now mm -hmm. the church is getting receiving a gentle rebuke mm -hmm. and correction because mm -hmm. the word of God is going forth. Yeah. But how many of the church are really um, not only responding and being obedient to mm -hmm. the word of God Amen. and to their leaders and to their, mm -hmm. but many people are pulling away. I don't have to go to church no more. You know, the mm -hmm. pandemic gave a lot of people excuses not to go. And so many people have decided, I got some other things to do right. on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, you know, and I'm not knocking, you know, different events going on because we know that uh, the NBA pl uh, is going on right now. But let's remember right. whose we are. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whose we are. Amen. Amen. And it's going to be, we're mm -hmm. going to stand before God. Amen. Especially those of us who have a call right. on our life. Amen. Amen. So no matter what, keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing no matter what. No well, let's do our final scripture. Uh, and that's found in um, 2 Peter right. 3, 1 through 18. So let's go to 2 Peter. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so people of God, I just want to make sure that we understand that mm -hmm. we're going to see a lot of things before the Lord come back. Amen. We mm -hmm. are in the last of the last days. Amen. And because of that, there's many people that are not uh, putting their full trust in God anymore mm -hmm. like they used to. So they're right. getting caught up with the signs of the mm -hmm. timer. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you don't make other things your God. Right. Other idols, people idols, your idols. God other circumstances oh or si Lord, situations that you enjoy. Your flesh mm -hmm. loves to be entertained. Mm -hmm. But God said, they that worship him must worship him what? In truth and in spirit, spirit and in truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. So the, let, let's see what Peter said, and we're going to close here. Right. Start at the first verse. All right. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. Now, we've seen that word remembered three times <laughs> since we've been studying. Yes. Make a note of that. Go on. Yes. Okay, I'll mark it later. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That you may be mindful of the words which were spoken by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles, and of the and of the Lord and Savior. No, so the Bible, so the Bible was based on, or founded on the prophets, the apostles, and Jesus Christ, who was the chief cornerstone. That's what he said. Literally. That's right. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, and saying, "Where is the promise of his coming?" For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation, and for this they willingly are ignorant of that the. Word that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Keep on. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store. Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Fire next time. Mm -hmm. So no matter what. Mm -hmm. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep on reading that eighth and ninth verse. So Peter is setting them up. Mm -hmm. He says, stir up your pure minds. Put back and remember. Mm -hmm. There's some things that you might have forgotten. But remember in Hebrews it said, take heed of the things mm -hmm. that you've heard. Listen, any time you let them fall. Mm -hmm. In other words, like slip. never before, we don't want the, those things to slip. Mm -hmm. We don't want those things to fall mm -hmm. because we're living and these are very Dangerous. This so is a very dangerous so time. Saying, stay girded. Up. Stay girded. Stay sober-minded. <laughs> yeah. Keep your mind, amen. amen, and keep your mind on the Lord and stay sober. I noticed, Doctor Dixon, these last days you have to actually fight. Yes. Fight against, like Paul, and no, I understand what he was saying. The wars without and wars within. Yes. You, you got to fight even your against your own self. Your flesh. Do all the flesh lust against the flesh, and mm -hmm. the spirit against the mm -hmm. uh, the spirit against the flesh, and the flesh against the spirit. Yeah, right. So that right. you can't, can't do the things you want. But if you say, please, if you flesh. keep, mm -hmm. it, remember. As a man think of it in his heart, so, so is he. he. So if I keep my mind stayed on Jesus, Amen. let this mind that was in, in Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus, let it be in you. Amen. Okay. Amen. So read that eight verse. All right. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. Yes. And a thousand years as one day. Keep on. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackless, but is long-suffering to us, Lord, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So what we're thinking about, the, what people are saying, well, God been saying that. They, the saints been saying that for years. He mm -hmm. came back. This is the, uh, this, we're in the new millennium. This is the 21st century. Mm -hmm. We think about them church folks, yeah. that Bible, all that. But they don't know. So don't know. that's how the generation the was with, with Noah. Yep, the, 
They were they married they and given in marriage. Amen. Amen. Uh, they were Somebody buying homes and houses. They were doing everything. Hallelujah. Now we just added the tech, you know, uh, the technology of this generation. Yes. But people yes, are still sure. basically the same. The same. And so, again, uh, like in the days of Noah, the, Noah preached for 120 years. 120 they made years. fun of Now look at that old preacher out there sure preaching. Ain't nothing going to change. Mm -hmm. But you know what? He's going to sure come. Did. Yeah. In a moment, which you think not. Come on, so he now. said, be yes. not ignorant of this one thing that mm -hmm. one day mm -hmm. is with the Lord as a thousand, a thousand years. And a thousand years is one day. day. The Lord is not slack Hallelujah. concerning his he, promise. My God. He promised that he's coming again. And blesses the man that when he cometh that he find doing. That's right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> as, some men, and so, as some men count slack. Does they, in other words, they're trying to say that God is slack. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. He's, he's just that. waiting. He's long suffering toward us. Not willing that your cousin, yes. that your husband, yes. that your wife, that that hardhead grandson, yes. hardhead granddaughter, your niece, uh -huh. your uh, your ungodly mm -hmm. neighbor, and even your employer. And he's not willing that any should perish, but that they should all come to repentance. And Dr. Dixon, what a lot of people don't know is that God is a major uh, strategist when it comes to accounting. Right. He right. uses many, many accounting terms in the word of God. And so he uses words like, you know, compensate. He uses words that, you know, the wages of sin is death. Right. Uh, he, he uses so many terms to show his righteousness, to show that he means what he says, and he says what he means. Amen. <laughs> and so look what it said. He is long-suffering. Everybody say long-suffering, church. Long-suffering. He's long-suffering. Long He's going to deal with your grandson, mm -hmm. your granddaughter, mm -hmm. that niece. That son, that daughter, your husband, your He's, yeah, because God is faithful. Yes, he and Jesus is. Died. What the word God say? For God so loved the world that, that he, he gave, gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe on him should, should not, not perish, perish, but have what? Everlasting Ever. life. And so because life is everlasting, God wants Thank to give God. mankind plenty of time. Plenty of opportunity. Mm -hmm. But remember, we're in that that, that generation now. Yes. That The Lord said that that generation that sees Israel become a nation mm -hmm. will be alive when he comes back. Yes. We are that generation. We're that generation. And he's Hallelujah. coming back. Hallelujah. And he's coming back soon. Well, let's wrap this yes, up. Jesus. Amen. Yeah, he said right. that all should come to repentance. So don't give up on that teenager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your husband may still be tripping. Don't give up on him. Your right. wife is hard-headed. Don't give up on her. Just right, keep right, loving. Right. Keep loving. Keep loving your loved ones. Keep loving your nieces, your nephews. Keep loving the people that you know that you have been seeking God for their salvation. Read 10 and 11. I had a question, Dr. Dixon. Okay. I'll, I'll ask it after the taping then. It's about, it's a, it's a county term, but it's dealing with, does God hold our sins? Does he hold record of all our sins? I know he throws them to the sea of forgetfulness. But okay, maybe that answers my question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Read two, read two. Going down from but two. the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Who was just talking about this? Uh -huh. <laughs> as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Yes. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Yeah, keep on. Hallelujah, turn the page. Amen. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation, holy conversation. and godliness? Yes, yes. Go on. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So let's look at that 10th verse. Mm -hmm. But the day of the Lord will come mm -hmm. as a thief. Do you see what it okay. says here, saints? Okay. And so people, are, they're going to just assume that, well, mm -hmm. you know, especially after the rapture. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, we don't know what happened to them. Maybe the aliens took them. Or maybe <laughs> they don't know. UFO. What, Amen. UFO, UFO, whatever. <laughs> but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yes. The day, and look what it says, in the which mm -hmm. the heaven shall pass away. Yes. With a great noise. You talking about Big Bang? Ooh. Bow! You ever heard great of noise. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and the, they've been hearing those noises and they can't even identify where it comes from now. That's right. Mm -hmm. And look what it said. And the mm -hmm. elements shall melt with fervent heat. Well, yes. what are the elements? Water and fire and earth shall melt. Amen. With a fervent heat. That means fire next time. The uh, earth also and yes, the works that yes. are therein shall be burned up. Uh -huh. That's talking about fire next yes. time. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be mm -hmm. in all holy conversation yeah. and godliness? You keep yourself 
Your, uh -huh. your lamp's trimmed and burning. Yes. You stay sober. You keep walking in sanctification. Mm -hmm. Don't quit God. Don't quit him. Don't change God. Yes. Don't backslide. Amen. This ain't no time to backslide. Right. This ain't no time to get out of church. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, forsake not the assembling of yourself mm -hmm. together as the manner of some is. Yes. You need to stay connected stay to the connected body of Christ. Body connected Christ. to a God, That's right. a Bible-believing church, yes. a praying church. Yes. Mm -hmm. looking for and hastening to the coming yes. of the day of God uh -huh. where in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat mm -hmm. nevertheless mm -hmm. we according to his promise look for a new heaven yes. and a new earth where it dwelleth righteousness where? that's why keep believing keep believing no matter what wherefore Jesus. beloved seeing that you look for such things be oh, diligent no. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. Keep believing. Mm -hmm. Be diligent. Diligent in what? In your witness, in your prayer life, yes. in, in the word of God, being mm -hmm. faithful to what God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. Look what it said. And that you may be found of him where? In peace. In peace. Without what? Spot. And what? Blemish. Amen. He's coming blemish. back for a church without what? Spot, spot or blemish or wrinkle, wrinkle or any such, such thing. thing. Yes. He's coming back for a holy church. And look at 15. Talk about that word account again. Keep on. Keep on. And account. There's that accounting word. That's another okay. word. It's so many of them. You guys got to go through the Bible. Amen. That the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Keep on. Even as our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. And also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. As they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Amen. And so what was he saying here? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep on. Get seven ye, therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things be, be, before, beware, lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked. Fall from your own steadfastness. See? Don't fall. Don't, don't fall. Don't backslide. Amen. But grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. <laughs> so what is God saying? Look, Paul yes. wrote to us. Uh, remember, Paul wrote one third of the New Testament. Even that word so, error. Amen. A term. <laughs> so that we would not have to be in error. Yes. So that Jesus said, you my will know Lord. the what? Truth. The and truth. the truth will make you make free. You and you can stay steadfast mm -hmm. in knowing yes. that you know that you know, know that the you truth know. and help yes. others. Pulling them out. Of the fire, my Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Like a firebrand, yes. Get them in the house of God, yes. Minister to them, impart truth mm -hmm. unto them, mm -hmm. because we don't want to see nobody going nobody. to hell. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is on His way back. Yes. So let's make our reservations. Mm -hmm. Make sure that people give mm -hmm. God their life. Yes. Amen. You pray with them. Get them baptized. I don't care if it's in Jesus' name, Father, Son. And the Holy Ghost, I've been baptized in both yes, of them. Yes, Amen. So yes. whether, no matter what your doctrine is, because All you can't right. separate the Father from the Son or the Son from the mm -hmm. Father. Jesus said, when you see me, you see the Father. Mm -hmm. He said, my Father and I am uh, one. one. Yes. And so we give God praise tonight. We're going to pray. But I just also want to encourage you. Mm -hmm. If you've been thinking about coming to the Bible College, we're in July next year. Next week, we're in a few weeks. It'll be August. We'll be graduating our our fall class of 2021. Yeah. We congratulate all the students. They hung in there with this pandemic. We were on Zoom. Sure did. Amen. <laughs> Somewhere at, uh, for a long time we were just doing Zoom, and now we're back on campus. But at 4716 West Lisbon, yes, Lord. call us if you're interested in getting your associate, your yes, bachelor's, Lord. your master's, your doctorate. Mm -hmm. And you know we added a women's Bible. A women mm -hmm. of God, yes. a women in ministry, Bible studies class. So you can, you don't have women. to have a GD. Uh, right. It's just an, a certificate program. You learn the uh, word. It is a wonderful program. Our uh, instructor mighty, uh, mighty, this year was uh, Dr. Evelyn Nolan. Yeah. Uh, but we're th this September we're going to be doing the Aspire Women by uh, Women of the Bible Studies class. So call us at four area code four one four eight seven three. 9641. Or what else? 414-204-4951. And guess what? You can also email us at Dr. J.M. Dixon 2000 at Agape Love Bible College dot com. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Did you get that? Say that one more time. Doctor is D R J for Jump M for Mary. Dr. J M Dixon. D I Dixon like the pencil, two thousand at at 
AgapeLoveBibleCollege.com. <laughs> All right. Amen. Amen. Again, you, you're more than welcome to give us a call. Mm -hmm. um, you know, saints, Thank we got to be prepared now. Amen. And we got to be on our... Put our A game together. Yes. Amen. Be excellent for the Lord. Amen. Most of all, have a heart yes. for souls. Amen. For he that win of souls must be wise. Must be wise. The little children gave their life to the Lord Saturday. Amen. Some of the adults Ooh. that were there gave their life to the Lord. Amen. He's Amen. on his way back. Let's Jesus. get our people saved. Let's get our family Shabbat. saved. Our neighborhood saved. Pray for Shabbat. all of those people that God Thank put on God. their heart. Yes, Lord. And remember, no matter what. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing. No matter what. No matter Let's what. go to the throne. Father, we thank you for the word on today. Mm -hmm. We ask that you bless down your precious people. Yes, Lord. Let them be edified, encouraged, built up. Yes, Lord. Sustain them. Yes, Father. In the hour that we live in them. Preserve them. Preserve in the time people. that we live in them. Yes, Protect Father. them Protect in these them dangerous God. times. Yes, Lord. Keep them safe from hurt, harm, and danger. Hide right them now, under the now, 91st now, Psalm. God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus angelic Jesus assistance. Name. Angelic surveillance yes, watching God. over all Watch of us. For are they not all minister and spirit sent yes, to minister Lord. unto us who are heirs of salvation? Yes, Lord. Grant them prosperity, peace, healing, and deliverance. Yes, Father. And Lord, we give you praise give because you, you came that we might. Praise. You came that we might have life. Yes, Lord. And God. have it more abundantly. In Jesus so, Lord, name. we're going to keep on believing. We believe, Father God. No matter what. No matter Be what. Be blessed. Amen. The joy of the Lord. Is your strength. Amen. Have a wonderful and God blessed day. Amen. Agape, love you so very, very much. Amen. Saints and friends, mm -hmm. be blessed Thank until you. we meet again. And keep the faith. Amen. Thank you, Lord.